Ukraine claims to use U.S. guided bombs to attack Russian targets. The Ukrainian Air Force announced that it is using JDAM guided bombs to attack important enemy targets and wants to own more of this weapon. We are using JDAM. It is a Western bomb and has successfully hit many important targets. They have very high accuracy, although the power is somewhat inferior. I want more bombs like that. To ensure success on the front lines, Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Ignat said on March 31. Mr. Ignat did not clarify the statement about the somewhat inferior power of the JDAM bomb. Western experts say this is a sign that Washington provides Kiev with JDAM models weighing 250 to 500 kilograms, instead of the most powerful U.S. bombs weighing nearly a ton. Video shared on Twitter earlier this month shows what appears to be a JDAM explosion that targeted a trench of Russian forces in the Donetsk region. The Russian and Ukrainian defense ministries at the time did not comment on this video. General James Hecker, commander of the U.S. Air Force in Europe, USAF backslash, said on March 6 that Ukraine had received a small number of JDAM ER-ranged guided bombs, helping to increase the long-range attack option beyond the HIMARS artillery. The number and version of bombs delivered by the U.S. to Ukraine are unknown, but they appear to be very limited. They only have enough bombs for a few raids, General Hecker said. The JDAM ER is equipped with a folding wing, which can be deployed after the bomb separates from the aircraft, reaching a maximum range of 72 km when dropped from a high altitude and high speed, compared to 24 km of conventional JDAMs. However, U.S. officials also acknowledge that the current combat environment could prevent Ukraine from maximizing the features of the JDAM ER bomb. Their planes have to fly low to avoid enemy air defenses. This can limit the bomb's range, he said. JDAM is a common name for conventional bombs that are converted into smart bombs, by attaching guidance devices, including global satellite positioning devices, GPS, and control systems. This is an option to make use of conventional bomb stockpiles, instead of having to produce high-cost guided bombs. Each navigation kit sold to the U.S. military costs about $25,000, the price for foreign customers can be much higher.